Hello, and thanks for tuning in to this webcast. I'm Mike Kilalea with IADC and DrillingContractor.org. Today, we're going to talk a little bit about expandable tubulars and uh, the challenges of designing connections for them. Specifically, we're here at the Weatherford OCTG Technology Center to uh, discuss uh, a new apparatus and procedure for qualifying expandable joints uh, in especially challenging uh, challenging environments. This uh, procedure and apparatus was the subject of an SPE IEDC paper that was presented last month at the SPE IEDC Middle East Drilling Technology Conference in Bahrain. We're here with three specialists from Weatherford, Richard DeLange, Ed Evans, and Jack Setterberg, who are going to give us their insights on various aspects of the problem, of the, of the uh, program. Uh, so starting with uh, you, Rich, I appreciate your time, first off, in sharing this information with our listeners. Uh, can you kind of paint the picture for us? Give us the broad view of what Saudi Aramco, in this case, wanted to do that was innovative with, uh, your tubu with tubular products, expandable tubular products, and the challenges that presented that brought uh, your all, y'all's expertise into, into, the, into the fray. Yes, uh, Saudi Ramco uh, for, for a number of years have been doing uh, drilling uh, laterals out of their existing well bores in some old fields using five and a half inch expandable casing uh, as seven inch uh, production liners. And early in their uh, project, they experienced some failures in the deviated sections of the well bores, always in the connection. And uh, so we, we became involved later on, and uh, one, of the, one of the problems with their uh, application and analyzing the cause of the failures was there just wasn't any uh, ability to accurately simulate the downhole condition in that deviated section. And so uh, together we uh, developed a, uh, an apparatus for testing here in our lab and uh, we ran some tests and we uh, developed that information into this technical paper that we gave last month in uh, Bahrain. Thanks very much Rich, really appreciate it. Uh, and Ed, uh, could you tell us a little bit about the work in designing threads that would be adequate for operator needs both pre and post expansion? I understand there are some real challenges there. The Weatherford Connection is a proprietary design that we developed here at Weatherford for expandable downhole use. Uh, it's a, a two-step connection, pretty traditional uh, in that respect, and it has an O-ring uh, that fits on a groove in the pin to act as a seal. Uh, the connection is, um, has about a 60 to 70 percent uh, tensile efficiency depending on the size and the design. Um, as I said before, it's developed exclusively for uh, expandable casing. Uh, it has seals to make it work uh, so it will work down hole both uh, before it's expanded and after expansion. And it will seal uh, also both internal pressure and external pressure. Thank you, Ed. Uh, very novel solution indeed. And finally, I'd like to turn to Jack Setterberg, who is uh, the manager of the test facility here. Could you tell us about uh, some of the equipment and the gee whiz factors that you have brought to bear in, in your design and, uh, of this with your colleagues here at the Weatherford OCTG Technology Center? Well, gee whiz is a good way to put it. Um, of course, when we, when we first looked at uh, testing this equipment, uh, the, the connections according to the requirements of the API work group that's putting together those requirements, to do this outside would have been several hundred thousand dollars per connection to run through the qualification tests. So it became obvious that it was cost justified to develop that technology in-house. So we built the machines and the facility to do that, but also I'd like to emphasize that we recruited the people. Our technicians are second to none in this business as far as testing, data acquisition, and things of that nature. So we, we spared no expense in making this a, a first-class, state-of-the-art test facility for the purpose of developing premium connections, particularly expandables. Many thanks, Jack. And again, thanks, Ed and Rich. And uh, thanks to you, our listeners, for tuning in with us today on uh, drillingcontractor.org. The uh, field of expandable tubulars continues to grow in importance throughout our industry. And we will have more about this particular project on our website and in the pages of our print magazine, Drilling Contractor. So be watching for that. 
and other technical updates on expandables and other drilling and completion technologies. Because at Drilling Contractor, we're all drilling, all completions, all the time. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time. Bye.